Field, Stage AE, the pregame show. You can win tickets coming up with Marta, the hot bartender champion from Blush. She was our winner yesterday. You also win passes to Blush. And maybe I'll throw in a few for cheerleaders as well, just to keep things fair and balanced here, Bob. But we'll get to that as soon as we get through the news. Also, you're... <laughs> Marta is now. Were you born in Russia, or what's the story? Yes, I was born in Belarus. Yes, I was born in Belarus, right outside of, you know what I mean, uh, Russia, and then we moved like <laughs> right outside of uh, Moscow, Krasnodar. Is that's where we lived. What Thomas. was it called again? Krasnodar. Krasn I'm Russian. So well, yeah. Krasnodar. Okay. Yeah. What color is Santa Claus over there? <laughs> you know Santa Claus does not have a Mrs. Santa Claus in Russia. There's no Mrs. There's Claus. no yeah. Mrs. Claus at all. He's got like a little young little um, mistress. Is this <laughs> true? God. Does he really? A young yeah, little he, hottie? Yeah, yeah, a young well, little hottie. Well, hold on for a That's what they call her. Can you say that on the air? Snigurichka. Mm hmm. Got Russians, it. all Russians know this, yes. So we had this little bit going because there's this fight on Fox News over whether or not Santa can be black, if he has to be white or if he can be black. And you're telling me that in Russia there's kind of a different Santa Claus who's a swinging bachelor that has some hussy on the side and no Mrs. Claus? There's no Mrs. Claus. It's just the Snigurichka. He's got this young. Little pretty girl. No, what is he? Is he Saint Nicholas? <laughs> he's a Santa. Pimp. He's a Santa, but he doesn't have a. There's no Mrs. Claus. Is he Saint Nick over in Russia, or who is he over? What's he known as? Just Dead Maroz. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Like, what? Yeah, that's in Russian. It's Santa Claus. Dead Maroz. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, listen. It's different. Marta won in Marta. part. That's what I said. Marta. Oh, you want to Marta. Marta. Hit the T harder? Okay. Right. I'm sorry. It's a pet peeve. Marta <laughs> won the hot bartender contest in large part. It's like Vladivostok. Right. Stuck. No, exactly. <laughs> because she made the Russian rocket drink, which yes, scored very well with all of us. <laughs> right. So oh, yeah. That's part of the reason why Marta is our champion. Thank you. And you can go see Marta at Blood. <laughs> And uh, maybe come see me at Cheerleaders as well. I'll give away passes for both, just for calling. And if you beat Marta, <laughs> then you win the Are You Smarter Than contest. 412-333-WXDX. Frequently on Fridays, we play Are You Smarter Than. It's our cheap rip-off knockoff of Are You Smarter Than a 5th Grader. As we pointed out earlier in the program, one of our Are You Smarter Than alumni, Valerie, just won Miss Pennsylvania. So Lord knows where things are going from here for Marta from Blush, <laughs> our hot bartender champion. That's Blush Gentlemen's Club, downtown 9th Street. Any specials going on today? What do we have? Big Christmas party, right? Yes, a big Christmas party, so come on down. And there's going to be food, drinks, specials, a feature, a good time. Who's the feature? Christina Aguchi. Okay. Yeah. Plus She's... Pittsburgh's hottest bartender, yes, of course. Yes, you can't beat that. That's Hello. Right. You gotta go down and help her celebrate her big championship. Right. Yes. When's the Christmas party start? It starts at. Well, you can be there at eleven thirty, but it starts at noon. And don't call her Marta. No, Marta, please. <laughs> Sorry, it's a pet peeve, and I don't, I just hate it. Okay, well now they know, okay? Yes, yes. And by the way, Cheerleaders Christmas Party is on the 19th. That's right, when is it? When is the 19th oh. on Thursday. <laughs> All right, so you're going to get question number one, just because we like you so damn much. Okay. Day one of your championship is the hot, hot bartender for 2013. Your question is this. It's a follow-up on yesterday, kind of. All okay. right? Your word is going to give you crazy off-the-wall questions, but I wouldn't do that to you just one day removed from winning the title as our hot bartender. Right, now that our countries are getting along so yes, well. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm going to describe to you the ingredients of a drink, and you're going to tell me the drink. Okay. If you get it wrong, then your opponent, Cody, is going to try to steal the question. So, okay. Cody, don't answer before she tries, okay? All right. All right, and by the way, if Cody loses, the next caller in wins automatically. So anybody listening right now, stay with us. And if Cody loses, you can win tickets to go see the Steelers and the Bengals. Right, so everyone's pulling for the commie right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> there you go, Marta. Vodka, mocha liqueur, and a little nutmeg is what kind of drink? Bob knows. He doesn't even know the. Dave answer. knows. Dave knows. Vodka, mocha, mocha liqueur. Yeah, like a mocha liqueur, chocolate liqueur, vodka, a little chocolate liqueur, cream, a little nutmeg. What kind of drink is that? A little nutmeg. That sounds like a white Russian. Oh! <laughs> yes, that's a white Russian. But it's not. We use goods. Vodka, Kahlua, and cream. Well, whatever, whatever yes. type of mocha, exactly. yes. chocolate flavored liqueur. Okay, yeah. So I'm like, wait. We'll French give it to you. Use Adam. 
cream at the first one. It could have been a black Russian. It could, you oh, did you're right, see? You're right. okay. you, co you confused me there. But you got. Then you'd have Fox yeah, News talking about it all weekend. <laughs> Go, Marta. So Marta is one for one. Let's see if Cody can get this answer correct. All right, Cody. Your topic is current events. Okay. What is the name of the North Korean dictator that just killed his own uncle yesterday? Uh, Kim Jong-il. Kim Jong-il is incorrect. Marta, you can steal. <laughs> I don't. He's close, though. As a Russian, you don't know anything about right. dictators. Come on. Yeah, but I haven't had time to... It's another communist country. It is, that's true. I haven't paid attention to the news lately, though. It's Kim jong -il. Ghoul? <laughs> I don't know. Ghoul. I don't know. Stop. Right, he is part Italian. <laughs> That's Jesus. Kim Jong Un. I was close. Yes. <laughs> yes, you were close. There was a U sound in there. So you have a commanding one nothing lead, but Cody gets to go first on this one. Cody, your topic is geography. If you answer this correctly, then you tie, and then Marta has a chance to win, or you can steal back and get the victory. Geography. Which of the following is not a city in South Africa? We've had a lot of talk about South Africa lately with the passing of Nelson Mandela. So, A, Johannesburg, B, Cape Town, C, Soweto, or D, Botswana? A. A, Johannesburg is incorrect. <laughs> Nyet, Cody. <laughs> Nyet. If you steal... And get this right, on multiple choice, you win, Marta. Is oh. it choice B? You're down to three here. Cape Town, C, Soweto, or D, Botswana? Wait, do it again. Which one's the Which one is not a city in South Africa? Cape Town, Soweto, or Botswana? Cape Town. Cape Town is, in fact, a city in South Africa. Damn the it. two biggest cities in South Africa. <laughs> I'm not good with geography. <laughs> Botswana is another country. How are so, you? Dang, I was yeah. going to say that. How are you not good with geography? You found your way to the United States from the other side of the well, world. Well, I was taught with American education. What does that tell you? Good. Oh. Okay. Well, now we know why you don't know anything. <laughs> well, you get your way from the Penman Road to blush. That's hard enough. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's tough. <laughs> did we a little plug in there for your second bar? Did you get a little quote huh? here from huh? Sonatown? Yes, I did. All yes, right, I good. Did. Okay, here's how it works. This could decide it. If you get this correct, you win. If you get it wrong and Cody steals it, we go to a tiebreaker question. Okay. Okay? I feel so stupid. No, no, no. <laughs> feel confident here. The category is hockey. What is the nickname of Russian hockey player Pavel Bure? It may have been mentioned yesterday at one point. I need an answer. Um, Three, I two, spit no something out of your mouth. Bashka. Bashka. <laughs> Which means what? What does that mean? It's just a nickname in Russian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like Junior? Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Cody, do you know the answer? I don't have a clue. What? <laughs> If you, if you get it right, you can tie, and we can go to a tiebreaker question. If you give up, then you lose. Oh. What is the answer for the nickname of Pavel Bure? I'm going to give you a hint, Cody. I even said it earlier. Yeah, he said it both yesterday and today. Russian uh, hockey player Pavel Bure is nicknamed... Um... <laughs> I am uh, Bure, Bure. Uh, You're bored? Bored. <laughs> <laughs> Pavel the Bored Bore. The answer, Cody and Marta, is the Russian rocket. Oh my god! Oh, the Russian I mean, rocket! We I told you these are layups! These are <laughs> tappings! These are empty oh, letters! Oh, I wasn't thinking! Well, Marta, you might not be all that smart, but you're smarter than Cody, and you're still our <laughs> hot bartender champion. Cody, you do uh. not win! That means the Bengals student tickets are open for the very next caller to call in at 412-333-WXDX. <laughs> Here's the good news, Cody. You can go to Blush and maybe somehow talk Marta out of the fact that you ever bought a drink and beat your tab. So, <laughs> that's the good news. Cody, you did just about as good as communism did. <laughs> All right, Cody, we'll see you at Blush and we'll see you at Cheerleaders. However, you do not win the tickets.